Welcome to HTML and CSS. This is the first lesson of our class and it is going to be organized on MCC Mary on YouTube or at maryhelp.net. So after the class, you can go in to either of those locations and see all the videos. I actually recommend maryhelp.net because it will also have all of the handouts, any links to sample pages, everything that I give out in my real live class will also be there. The first part of getting something up and running on the internet is that you need a web server. I use InMotion Hosting. I'm real happy with them because they gave me the ability to create a cPanel for each of my students. And that really stands for Control Panel. And it gives you your own site on the internet. So to get started, I want to show you how to log in, give you a really quick tour because we're only going to use a fraction of the tools that are available to you in cPanel. And we're going to get started right away. So if you're at one of my students, I've provided you the link to the cPanel. And you're going to log in by putting in your username, which for my students will be your first initial and your last name, and the default password that I gave you in Canvas. And then you're going to log in. Now you'll notice I'm not using that convention for me. Mine is Mary Wynn. And the first thing that you should see as soon as you log in is to change your password. And so I'm going to put in the original password that I had. And then I'm going to put in a new password. And it should be complex. It should have capitals, lowercase numbers, And it should, you'll have to put it in twice. And it should be something that you're going to remember. If you don't, I can reset it for you. It's not a real big deal. I can reset your password at any time. Just shoot me an email if you need it done. So that's the first thing that you're going to do because we have to have your password set up because it becomes your FTP password. So I'm going to hit change your um Change your password now, that updates it. And we'll update it on any other services that I have inside of cPanel. System, FTP, Mail, MySQL. And it's the FTP that we're worried about because that's really what we're setting up today. It's going to make you re-enter that new password you just created. And then you can log in. And cPanel is pretty standard everywhere. And I use this because this, um, they were English, go ahead and continue. And you can go through all the introduction. I've been doing this a lot of times, so don't need to do that. So I have updates available here. It's telling me because I've used this before. I use several of the services here. In HTML and CSS, we're not going to get into it, but you're welcome to play with these because you can make your own directories in here. So we have lots of cool services we can add. You can create your own email account. There's logs to see what your site's doing. There's some security that I don't really get into. Uh, I'm not really going to get into subdomains or any of this stuff. What I really care about is for this class is pretty much right here. It's the files section. You don't really need to do anything about going into cPanel after the first time. We just need to make sure that you have everything ready so that you can FTP, which stands for File Transfer Protocol. That will allow you to upload your files, your images, your HTML pages to your web server. But it's a good idea to know how to get in here. So we're going to largely work within the FTP server. Um, and we're going to go into our file manager directory, which will take us to the web root. This is critical. Your address is any of your pages are going to be inside of public underscore HTML. Now for this class, depending on which semester you're taking it, it's either web scripting or HTML and CSS because I changed the name in the spring of 2014 and it should be reflected in the next catalog. So HTML and CSS is going to become Web 115. So I'm going to create that folder. You can do it as the CIS number, which is, I believe, 145 or Web 115. It doesn't really matter. But you do want to create a folder for the class. So my folder is going to be Web 115. And I'm going to hit Create New Folder. 
And it's important to note that your path is going to be public HTML web 115 because we're going to need this. And so the when we actually go to your site on the internet, while the path is public underscore HTML, you don't need to type that in, but we will for FTP. So this is the information we needed. And if you're not sure you have what you need, you can go back to cPanel and you can look at the FTP accounts. Now, if you want to create extra FTP accounts, you can. And I sometimes do that to have a separate FTP account for subfolders. It can help me keep things straight if I'm working with multiple websites. But here, Mary Wynn, because my name is Mary Winchester, I just shortened it, um, is my login and the password's the one that I just created. And when you want to see how to configure your FTP client, it tells you your username, the full address of the server, and the ports. So my username is the first half of my web address. That's what you need to know to get started in Dreamweaver, which is going to be our next tutorial, is how to get things set up using Dreamweaver so that you can FTP to your web server.